What are the risks associated with single live intrauterine fetus? Hey there, welcome to today's video. Today, we'll be discussing the risks associated with a single live intrauterine fetus. Pregnancy is an incredible journey, but it's important to be aware of potential risks that can arise along the way. So, let's dive right in. What are the risks to the mother? During pregnancy, there are certain risks that can affect the mother carrying a single live intrauterine fetus. It's crucial for expectant mothers and their healthcare providers to monitor these risks closely. Some of the key risks include, 1. Gestational diabetes. This condition occurs when the mother's blood sugar levels rise during pregnancy. It can lead to complications for both the mother and the fetus if not properly managed. 2. Preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is characterized by high blood pressure and damage to organs such as the liver and kidneys. It can be dangerous for both the mother and the fetus if left untreated. 3. Preterm labor. Premature labor refers to the onset of labor before 37 weeks of pregnancy. It can result in a premature birth, which may pose various health risks to the newborn. What are the risks to the fetus? While the risks to the mother are important to consider, let's not forget about the risks that can impact the single live intrauterine fetus. These risks include, 1. Intrauterine growth restriction, IUGR. IUGR refers to a condition where the fetus does not grow at a normal rate inside the womb. It can be caused by various factors and may result in a low birth weight or other complications. 2. Congenital abnormalities. Some fetuses may develop structural or functional abnormalities during their development in the womb. These abnormalities can range from mild to severe and may require medical intervention after birth. 3. Stillbirth. Although rare, the risk of stillbirth exists during any pregnancy. It refers to the loss of the fetus after 20 weeks of gestation. Factors such as placental problems, infections, or genetic conditions can contribute to stillbirth. How can these risks be managed? Fortunately, there are ways to manage and mitigate the risks associated with a single live intrauterine fetus. Prenatal care plays a crucial role in monitoring the health of both the mother and the fetus. Here are some important steps to consider. 1. Regular checkups. Attending regular prenatal appointments allows healthcare providers to monitor the progress of the pregnancy, identify any potential risks early on, and take appropriate actions. 2. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Eating a balanced diet, staying physically active within the limits advised by the healthcare provider, and avoiding harmful substances like alcohol and tobacco can help reduce the risks. 3. Monitoring fetal movement. Paying attention to the baby's movements and promptly reporting any significant changes to the healthcare provider can help ensure the well being of the fetus. And there you have it. We've discussed the risks associated with a single live intrauterine fetus. It's essential to be aware of these risks and take the necessary steps to manage them. Remember, prenatal care and regular communication with your healthcare provider are key to a healthy pregnancy. Take care, and we'll see you next time.